price action trading strategy. This is the video that we are doing today. This topic is very broad and we cannot finish even in this video, but I hope by the end of this video, you will be able to trade any price action that you can be able to see or spot in your chart. Many people understand price action differently, but for me, what I can, I can just say, whatever many people say out there price action is, for me, I can just tell you in a simple language. Price action is how the candle moves. We know we have many candles. Let's say this candle, if I, if I draw this, when I say, do you know price action? It, I just simply mean, if I draw this candle to you, can you tell me that this is a sell candle? Sellers are in control. If you say that, you're not, okay, you're 50% accurate, but this is more of momentum candle because as much as this is a sell candle, I may still have a red candle that have a week. So these two candles, sellers are, are there, they are present, but the first one, the selling has momentum. Sell, momentum. But the second one, the sellers are being rejected. Sellers rejected because of the week. What are, what are we observing from the two candles? It's the body, the how the body is moving. So if you are able, if you have reached a place, and I want you to comment down below, if you have reached a place where you can notice that, oh, by the way, it's like sellers are, come, are being rejected or buyers are being rejected, it, that is price action for me. That's my definition. So if we have momentum candle, we'll have a green candle. In such a case, this will be still be a buy momentum candle. So here we'll have a buy momentum, not just a buy, but there's momentum. So buyers are in control. People are making money and the market is moving smoothly. But on the other hand, if I have a very small, uh, green candle but the week is above of course buyers are being rejected so you have to understand that uh price action is having that knowledge having that knowledge what is happening and knowing the candles and their names so there's a video that i have done if you have not watched it go and check it the two candles that i normally trade bullish and gulf and hammer so this out this here is the hammer so this is the hammer. So mostly when you see a hammer, even if it's a, a red candle, there's the message that the hammer gives you. So if you have not watched that video, after this video, go and watch that video. It will really help you guys. That candlestick patterns video is very, very important. So understanding price action is that uh, as, on Monday, you can have this red candle. On Tuesday, you can have uh, the, the 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 market the sellers may start being rejected so the market may be going up and then goes up may be going down and then go up so before it goes up it will have given you a story let me give you for instance you might have three candles following each other like here you can see here we have this momentum candle and then here we have a rejection candle, that's what I mean. So the market is a combination of so many candles. It's you to know how to interpret. You can see, and then we have two momentum candles, and then we can see buyers now coming in. Here is where buyers are coming in. You can see here, we have buyers coming in, and this is the candle that I was telling you. It's one of the favorite candles to see in the market, bullish angle. You can see this bullish angle. And then once the bullish engulf happens, so this is what price action is. Once the bullish market has, we had these tweezer tops. So these two candles, they still have a meaning. If you want to learn all this, you can do it. But this video is just to give you the strategy. And I hope I have laid a foundation of what is price action. Now, understanding now the strategy of price action is the movement of those candles. For instance, if at all I have a market that is going up, 
So I will first need to know the trend I'm in. So this is uptrend going up, uptrend going up. So what is making this market go up? Buyers are pushing. We have momentum. Even when you you see an, a market that is on an uptrend, even the candles formation, they are big. If we look at this, just observe this move here. Just observe this move here. If you observe this move here, what you will notice is that you will notice that, yes, we have green candles. Let me look for an arrow. Yes, we have the green candles. Yes, we have the green candles. And buyers have momentum. Even if sellers are coming in, sellers have very short candles. You can see this is a short candle for sellers. We have another short candle. Not short, I mean, I mean the body is so small. And the sellers, the sellers, they don't have uh, enough energy, enough momentum. They can, they are not able to push the market down. This is what we call price action. If you can understand that, that, oh, by the way, I'm on a chart, but buyers tend to be so strong. Buyers are strong. But when I look at selling, hey, sellers, they need to, they need to put in energy. And the minute you now start seeing sellers now coming in with big candles, that's what we call a reversal. So that's price action is when you can understand how the market is moving. So when we are here, when we are here, guys, and the market is moving, what we are seeing here, what we are seeing here is sellers being depleted. Yes, they are coming in, but they don't have that much strength. And the example is here. Yes, sellers are there, but not much strength. So the strategy that I'm about to show you is once you understand sellers are, don't have much strength, you will be waiting for the market. It has broken this resistance. You will be waiting for the market to do a retracement. So once the market retraces here, again, there's something else you need to observe. So number one, we need an uptrend. Uptrend. And this kind of an uptrend, the market is creating high highs and high lows. So what I mean is that we have uh, buyers coming in and sellers sometimes coming in, but they are not powerful, high highs and high lows. Once you understand that, you will mark the resistance, the last resistance that was broken. And that's why we are marking here. So this is the last resistance that was broken. Once you mark this, even if sellers are coming in, even if sellers are coming in, what you will be observing is how they will come at your line of uh, retracement, this line that was broken. You'll be observing how will these people behave here. The only candle that I want you to go observe, if they come with such candles, don't pay attention so much. So I want you to look for a rejection candle. And in this case, a rejection candle, I want it to be a hammer. So the strategy is you look for an uptrend or a down, uh, for, for now it's an uptrend because remember downtrend, we cannot look for a hammer. So this strategy right now, if this video, you hit it to 10,000, if it get 10,000 views, I will do for the downtrend and I'll give you the name of the candle you should check. So in such a case, we are looking for, for the hammer candle in the retest zone. Once you get the hammer candle, you will flip to four hours time frame. So up to here, all this time frame is daily. All this time frame is daily. Then you will flip to four hour time frame. And four hour time frame, we are looking for a bullish engulf. A bullish engulf is when a red candle, then another green candle engulfs it. So you will watch for hour until you find that bullish candle. So number one, you find a, a, a market that is on an uptrend. Number two, you find the market that has retraced and created a hammer. Number three, you flip to four hour and look for a bullish engulf candle. That is our strategy. So can we start practicing, guys? Let's start practicing. So for instance, here we have, uh, let me show you. For instance, here we have, let me delete this. We have this hammer. So I want us to look at this. We have this hammer. You can see that hammer. But this hammer, there's something 
uh, unique that has happened. This market previously broke a resistance. You can see we had a breaking of resistance. This is BOS. The market broke that resistance. And then when the market came to retest, it retested with a spinning top and then a momentum candle and then a gravestone spinning top, momentum uh, bearish, then a hammer that is green. We don't want a hammer that is green in color. Remember this strategy, we are not uh, looking for a hammer that is in green in color. We disqualify this one. If you see a hammer that is in green, we are disqualifying it, okay? So we don't want such a hammer. We, uh, we don't want such a hammer that is green in color. We want a hammer that is in red in color. Both of them are hammers, but in this case, we want a red hammer. So this is the first. So the first thing is to identify your resistance. The second uh, is to identify the breaking. Once you have the breaking, then you identify this candle. This is your magic. So once you identify this hammer, you will go now to four hour. So once you identify this hammer, you're going to for, remember guys to share to those groups I've told you. If I'm giving this information for free, the only thing you can do is to share this video on Telegram. There are so many Forex Telegram groups that you are in. Why don't you just copy the link and paste? And imagine you will help someone. There's someone just saying, oh, I don't have a strategy. Why don't you just paste this on your Facebook page or on WhatsApp group and the way you, are, you, have, you have joined so many WhatsApp groups? Why don't you just paste? Make sure you paste. Imagine a thousand of you if you shared this video. A thousand people sharing, it means a lot because majority of you are in these groups, okay? And once this video hit to 10,000 views, I'll be able to show you how to do this vice versa because the vice versa, we are not looking for hammer. If it was under downtrend, we are not looking for hammer. Now, uh, we, 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 we come to four hour now. And once we open our four hour time frame, remember, I will not look at this bullish and gaff already that has happened. The rule is you will watch the bullish and gaff happening once you go to four hours. So don't look at the previous happened market. You will start afresh. So once I'm here, I'm looking for, I'm waiting. So this is four hour. Wait for bullish and gang. Okay. So wait for bullish and gang. Wait for bullish and gaff. So I'll be here waiting for bullish and gaff. And you can see the market has really tested this area. This is where the market did that, uh, it did the retest. So let's see what happens. So the market should not break. That is the exit. The entry, guys, is uh, the hammer. The entry is the hammer and the bullish and gaff. So if I want to do the three things that you should know. If I want to enter this trade entry, number one, I want to have a hammer on daily, on daily. Then I flip, I flip for hour, and then I look for what? Bullish and gulf. Bullish and gulf. That is the entry, guys. For the target, I am targeting 30 pips. I don't want to over target. This is not the strategy to over target. And then for the exit, I will mark the lowest, lowest support, BOS. If that lowest support has been broken, just close that trade. If you are not lucky, you will try again. For instance, if the market comes and breaks, that lowest support that you have marked, your lowest, you are not lowest support, your current support, sorry, your current support. So your current support, because if I talk of the lowest support, I have so many low support here. Now, let's now see if we got a bullish angle. Let me first remove this line and we play, we see, did we get the bullish angle? So we are playing. So immediately after 
entering after going on four hour, we had a red candle followed by a green candle that happened to be a bullish end gap. That is instantly like you're not even stressing. So you can enter here and your stop loss, not even stop loss, your exit. Stop loss, you do what you feel it's good, but your exit should be this area. You don't want to find a market that has broken like that and you're still in that trade. Okay, so once you find the market has broken with a green candle, we are targeting how many pips? 30 pips. That's our target, guys. So we'll come to a long position and we target there. So 30 pips. And then we wait. We wait. You can see the ranging is starting to happen. And at this point, people do exit because they're not even sure why they entered. And you can see how the market is coming. If we had entered the lowest of this, where the bullish end up, this candle came just to take out people. And that's what happens. And finally, the TP of that TP was hit. Now, that is the first example, guys. And this can show you that this is not a strategy, uh, a get rich quick yeah, kind of a strategy. It's a strategy that needs a lot of patience. And sometimes the scenarios are different. Let me show you with another case. You can see here we ranged for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. If you calculate 14 times 4, those are so many days, uh, like let's say 3 or 4 days, just waiting for that TP. So, this one needs patience and not all the time. Sometimes it, it requires patience. Let me look for another example that I had seen and you will judge it for yourself. Uh, so here I have this uh, hammer that uh, has come in here. I have that hammer. This is a hammer guys. Now, why do I have this hammer? What has resulted to this hammer? The market was coming up. If I look on my left, the market is retesting a zone. I have told you, if the market retests a zone and it does not produce this hammer, we are not interested. So in, in such a case, the market is uh, retesting this area. It is retesting this zone. So when the market is retesting this zone and you have seen this hammer, what is the next thing to do, guys? The next thing to do, so you have your resistance. So this is my resistance. And in, that, in such a case, the resistance has been broken and the market has tested and we have hammer in play. So I'll come to four hour. So this is my four hour and I'm looking for, I'm looking for, uh, for a bullish end gap. So this, the one I have right now, I will not even consider it. So I will start looking for a bullish end gap and my exit is this lowest week there, the lowest, the current market, a current support, that is my exit. So let's see what happened. So you can see the market has started to go down and it's approaching our zone. Yet we do not have a bullish engulf. Even right now, we don't have a bullish engulf until we got the bullish engulf. You can see this is a bullish engulf and it is very clear bullish angle once now you have bullish angle you will target 30 pips i want you to comment down below if you will try this strategy i can't do all this um, effort and you would try it make sure you try it and then you come back to this video and let me know how it was so 30 pips and immediately the market hit the take profit that is the second example to show you that they sometimes you will enter the trade and you once you enter the trade, you won't struggle. Remember the first trade, we stayed for three, four days. This one is immediately. Now, I want to show you another example where you will stay before you get that bullish end gap. And sometimes you may even feel like you want to quit. And let me give you this example. This is our last example. So in, in this example, what I'm trying to show people is that, number one, if I identify my hammer, I need to go to the left side and see what is it happening. And you can see the market has been retested. Here, the market was 
ranging and then it broke out. Once it broke out, it came and retested again. So we are seeing a pattern and kind of a way that even you can be able to try by yourself. So once we find this hammer, there's a hammer that has tested and, and majority of times the market will retest and it will not produce a hammer. Even here, you can see we had a hammer. Can you see here? We had a hammer and the market went up. Can you see? We had a hammer here and the market went up. You can see the hammer here and the market went up. So I'm just saying this strategy, it's very profitable if you only try it out. So we will go on four hour and try to see on four hour what is happening. Will we get um will we get a bullish angle? So this is me trying to look for a bullish angle on four hour. You can see the market is not giving me a bullish angle. We were almost being given a bullish angle here, but we were not given a bullish angle. Remember, exit is that low of that trade. That's where you will exit. So sometimes you can be frustrated because you are looking for that bullish angle and you're not finding it. So by the time the market is printing all these candles, you might be thinking, oh, the market has left me. So when you try to look for a bullish angle, you're not seeing a bullish angle. You can see here, we, we this is not a, a bullish angle. This is a momentum candle, but not a bullish angle. So you're anticipating to have a bullish angle. Even here, it's a momentum, but not bullish. So this is to show you that this is not a trade that every time you will be it's entry and you get the money, it's entry and you get the money. You can see sometimes you can think, oh, the market has left me. It did not create a bullish angle. You have patience until where you will find a bullish angle. Bullish angle means that now we are ready. You see this candle that has been created? This is what we mean. This is a bullish angle, guys. So once the bullish angle comes, you can now target how many pips? 30 pips. You can imagine. How many pips are those? You can imagine how long it took for you to get that bullish angle. And we started from here, around here. So these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, almost 20, 20 days. And you divide by four, like five days, a whole week waiting for a bullish angle. And once you get that bullish angle long position, and you can see, let's see if the market hit the take profit, started to go up and immediately it hit the take profit. And even after that, the market still continued. You can see the market still continued going up. And it's because you saw that hammer. So you're not even badly off by this strategy. So I want you to practice this strategy and then you come back to this video. And I have told you guys, if you make these videos that I'm posting every single day, imagine posting video every single day at 3 p.m. If you make these videos, at least they hit 10,000 views in that week of being posted. That is my target. I want at least to address 10,000 people because there are so many people who are suffering with the lack of information. There are people who don't have jobs. They, are in, they have stress. Why don't you share with your with your your family and if at all you have been watching my videos and you love what i do i am just coming out here so that i you not be scammed by other people impersonating me the only thing i offer is mentorship i have different types of mentorship paid mentorship and free mentorship free mentorship is what i'm doing here on youtube but paid i have a one-on-one -on -one zoom class for international students and i charge 1500 dollars for one month two classes every week. That is eight classes that I'm charging 1500. So if you want Zoom, that is a private mentorship for international students. If you want a, a, a physical class, you can come to Kenya. If you want recorded class, it's $1,000. If you want one strategy, is $100. Now with that, if you want more from what I'm giving, I'm not forcing people, I'm not self-promoting myself. I'm just putting it out there. If people want to reach me, this is the right number to use. Why would you be scammed $1,000 by a funny number out there? Why would you give people, uh, someone thinking it's me, your money to be traded, and yet I don't do trading? So just understand that I have to do this at the end of the video. 
to caution because if you're watching this video until the end, it means you 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 love my work and it means you would want to have that one-on-one -on -one mentorship and you do, you don't want to be scammed thinking it's Esther Mofren is a scammer. Anyway, guys, all the best. I hope you will try that strategy. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Love you.